Before the 90 Days, 90 Day Fiance, Season 7, Episode 3. What's up, y'all? It is Jay Shanice, back with another video, back with another review. If you're new here, I'm loud, I'm crazy, I'm all over the place. So let's get in before the 90 days, because, honey, I forgot about last week. I just caught up on last week and this week today. So let's get into this, because Chitty and Renee, he needs to run. She is crazy. She is a maniac, okay? I don't know what's wrong with her. I don't know what her beef is with his sister, this invisible beef that she's trying to be like, I'm more powerful than you or I know what to do. You don't know what to do. His sister has been caring for him for this long and your ass was sweaty as hell. When you got off that plane, and instead of you going to the bathroom, wiping yourself together, wiping yourself off and being a lady, you went up there and hugging that man with your sweaty, nasty looking ass, okay? She done got on my motherfucking nerves. You see how she went over there to Africa trying to be a colonizer? Girl, you can't change what they do in Africa. And how the hell you gonna tell them not to uh, take out the chicken and you eat chicken? You got him all confused. You got the blind man confused. And you know what? Another thing, if they don't quit right, whiting out our screen so we can see how it feels to be blind we understand how blind people work you ain't got to keep whiting out the screen getting on my goddamn nerves we understand that he can't see okay quit playing with our eyes and stuff because you know i already wear glasses i ain't got time for that anyways she had instantly instantly you know, trying to guide him and stuff. Let the family guide him. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. Stop before y'all fall into one of them deep gutters messing around with you. But saying, I always had a feeling I was going to get into it with somebody's sister. See, this is the thing. Don't be marrying other races if you ain't got no friend like that, okay? You ain't got no single black friend, Renee. And I know that without having to uh, do my research. You probably ain't never even really been around black folks. And then yo, let's go over here to Africa thinking you gonna run his sister you have lost your ever loving mind the sister and brother even gave up their bed for you to sleep in because you wasn't sleeping with her brother for his religious beliefs that he did not want to sleep with you before marriage and i understand that she's like i couldn't sleep i was hot i was cold she over there sweeping the floor like they house wasn't clean enough for her your house didn't look too damn clean if you ask me but anyways then he said he was going to cook her breakfast. She trying to help him. I mean, he did almost slap himself with a spatula. And I thought he was going to cut himself. But he knows how to get around. He knows how to get around. He knows how to maneuver in that house. So quit trying to dictate what he's doing. I almost feel like the only reason she liked Chitty is because she could caretake him. She could be the caregiver. See, you know who she need to go be with? Brian's ass. Then you can take care of him, help him in the wheelchair and all that stuff because Ingrid's showing the hell don't want to help him. Anyways, okay, um, the sister went with, they. she went with the sister to the market and stuff because I done got ahead of myself about this chicken because she done pissed me off and the way she was looking. Don't piss me off. Girl, don't get thrown into jail in Africa. <laughs> they don't mind throwing your white in the jail. Don't, don't do that. So she was upset that the sister was going on an outing with them. How was you going to get around Legos? How was you going to get around there? You don't even know where you're going. This is not America. So how was you going to guide them? I don't understand that. And then when the sister was like, let me hold him and you get on this side of me. She had an attitude. Oh, well, I'm glad she's here because I, I don't think I could have done it. Then why are you trying to take over something you don't know how to do? They go by the chicken. store. hey, chicken. Hey, baby. Hi, friend. What are you doing? You see the 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 nice and stuff. They about to get the ring them chickens necks and pluck them feathers, okay? So the sister's like, hey, I want one of them chickens. What are you? What are you? I'm about to lose it. What are you about to do? Uh, cook the chicken for dinner. That's what I'm about to do. They're talking about, well, I do eat chicken, but from the market. Girl, they take the chicken out the game. That's what they do. Well, they could do it more humane. I almost think that's more humane than what they do here. Isn't it where, like, okay, rumor has it. I've never seen it. They put all the chickens in a the room. Then a big knife comes, like, I don't know, and it just chops all their heads off. Ain't that how it is in America? I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out what she talking about because really, either way, it's terrible. But got a whole group of your family and stuff, y'all standing there like, oh, where are we? What they got us in here doing? I mean, come on, girl. What the hell, right? And she got aggressive with the sister. The sister was like, oh, I see what he was talking about. Anger easily. Like, she almost, and his sister is so nice, so welcoming. She was so happy that she was there. And she treats the sister, like she talking to his sister like some hoe off the street. That's his sister. You better put 
some respect on the woman that's been taking care of him. Why are you talking to her like that? Why are you treating her like that? So she's like, hey, y'all go over here. I'm going to still go buy a chicken. Well, you, you're you going to have to shove it down my throat. Girl, ugh. ain't nobody going to make you eat the chicken. You ain't got to eat the chicken. You can starve for all she care. I know they do got a KFC there because, you know, I used to mess with me a, cup, a few Nigerians in my day. Baby, that's what you can do. Why are you over here talking to his sister like this over chicken? Don't make no sense. Then he finally got the nerve to tell her that he is not sleeping with her before marriage. And she was upset about that too. Oh, it's just a piece of paper. We've been together for five years. This is how we're going to build our intimacy. Girl, you just came over there horny. You need to get with Lauren. See, now I'm trying to hook her up with other castmates. Cause, but you ain't a lady. You ain't what he like. But. You could get with Lauren because it seems like you're horny because I don't know why you're tripping about him not want to do it before marriage and before that's his belief. You can't make him believe anything. Now she mad at God because God was coming between her and her dingling that she won't. I don't like this woman. I, my friend was telling me there's a lot going on on TikTok and stuff with her. I'm not even engaging in it. I'm not looking at it because what that hoe ain't about to do is ruin the show for me with her stupid faces of the, if you make me mad, like what you, what's good? What are you going to do? What are you going to do about it if she does make you mad? I just feel like he don't need to be with her. She's not the right person. She's not a good fit. And he deserves so much better. And she needs to go on and take her ass back to New Mexico, okay? Where she came from and get her one of them dusty ass white men. That's what she needs to do. That's it. That's all. I can't stand her. She's disrespectful. He don't need to be giving her none of his good blind dingling or nothing like that because she don't deserve it, Okay. She don't deserve it, but he did say he'd be getting hard around her. I said, I don't know how. If you seen what we seen, you wouldn't. You need to let us be your eyes so I could describe her to you. Like, who face card is mm, a two, mm -hmm, a two. Yeah, her dressing is a negative. Mm -hmm. Listen, the way she got out of that airport alone, he should have sent her back to America. You're nasty. You're dirty. And if you came off the plane like that to meet your man, baby, I wonder what the cooch look like. Okay, it's probably a bush with bats and everything. Uh, baby, Chitty, you don't want that. You do not want that. I promise you. Your good sister's here to protect you. See, me and your sister would have got along, but see, I can't be guiding you and stuff. I'm like, honey just stay in the car just stay at home because i can't be doing that but i said chitty got nice little arms and stuff what the hold on do not nigerian man be doing it for me but they is oh we'll talk about another time them nigerian man will have you in your goddamn feelings okay let's talk about tiger lily i tiger lily and what's his name adon adana adon I, listen, girl, ain't no way you in your 40s and you letting a 20-year-old control you. Are you serious? And he talking about he want five kids. She's like, oh, I didn't know that. I already have two and you're 41. It, like, uh, how many babies do he expect you to have? I, I'm so confused at what she went through with this marriage. I am just like, what? And then he be speeding all the time. He be burning rubber. I'm like, you need to quit speeding. You got precious cargo in the car, okay? I don't got no problem telling people, uh, you speeding and I'm in the car. Do you realize who's in the car? If you're in the car by yourself, do whatever you want to do. But when I'm in the car, a uh, precious cargo, drive like you got some goddamn sense, okay? Drive me like you driving Miss Daisy. That's just period, okay? You're Morgan Freeman and I'm motherfucking Miss Daisy. She signed the book for them to get married. His mom was there. His brothers was there. She's like, I didn't know it was going to be all these people. I thought it was just going to be me and him. But it was other people there. He said he's a virgin. But baby, after they got married, he was not a virgin no more. She's like, I never wake up with a bed head. I can barely stand. Girl, you telling me a virgin put it down like that on you? Girl, if you don't go some, you must have never had no in your life. Like, girl, if you don't go some goddamn where Tiger Lily, baby 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 i just listen when she was like is this okay to wear it's a little tight he was like it's tight but you covered up i guess he's got control issues he is way too young for her to have been marrying him i'm trying to figure out what's her ex-husband also foreign can somebody tell me that has somebody done their research 
is her ex-husband foreign? Because I just got a feeling and I've seen in the previews that they said that's what her ex-husband was, was controlling. I'm trying to see that. And then she let her friend be off that does her hair and stuff. Let them be off so they could enjoy, you know, rest and then enjoy the big wedding. So she called the hotel, had the spa send up a hairstylist. He acting off. This is the man. I don't want another man touching you. He's touching her weave. Like she said, this ain't even her hair. It's weave. He's touching her weave. Why can't he curl her hair? He's not here to screw her. He's not here to do anything. He's like, pull down your shorts. How far would you like her to pull down the pajama shorts? Her ass going to be out in the back if she pull it down even anymore. So the dude curling her hair, he talking about, you got five minutes. Five minutes. Did you see when they got in the car, her curls was gone? Because you gave that man five minutes. He was dropping the dryer. He was scared. And he was looking all up in the sky. I said, I feel bad for this man. She's like, you're scaring him. Stop. Like, let him do my hair. I'm giving him five minutes. See, this is important today. I hate when people, you only knew this young man for four months and you went down there and got married. And now he's a control freak. He's acting a fool and embarrassing you. Like, what is he going to do in America? And you can't tell me he's not an opportunist because his family's talking about, are you staying here? Tiger Lily, I hope y'all stay here. And then she's like, no, I have to go back to my children. I wonder if they even knew she had children. I wonder if they even know how old she is. I mean, I guess at the, the book signing, she had to say her age, but I'm just trying to figure out. I think he's an opportunist. Why else would he marry Tiger Lily? All he wants to do is come to America, think he's going to be a model. He ain't. <laughs> he's going to have to work him a job, but why else? I just don't get it. And his brothers want him to stay there, but he wants to go to America. And Tiger Lily's like, why doesn't his family know that he's moving to America? Because he ain't said nothing. He's a man, especially in that kind of country, in that environment. Like the man is the man. They ain't got to an answer to no mother and body. Okay. See, this is why women got to quit marrying men they don't know, especially like you don't know anything about his culture. You didn't do no research. You didn't do anything. You just took your ass over there like your homegirl, Renee. Don't make no sense. Do not make no sense. Uh, they had family dinner. She did not like that food. I could tell. As soon as they pulled it up, I was like, she ain't gonna like this food. And the man was over there just eating with their hands. Then she was like, yeah, I like it. His mama pouring more stuff. She's like, I'm okay. They, they are feeding her. Then he come over there with his dirty hands. He ain't hand sanitized. He ain't did nothing. Come over there, pick up a chunk and just, nah. I was like, oh, hell no. And she's like, mm -hmm, baby, mm -hmm, baby. Yeah, baby. He's like, eat some more. Okay, baby. I'll do it, baby. Like, if you don't get a backbone, bitch. <laughs> Like, you do them old to me act like this. That 22-year-old did not put nothing on you you ain't never had put on you before in the bedroom. Tell me, I got that head I can barely stand. Then she's like, what kind of meat was that? He was like, it was sheep. I don't eat sheep, baby. I don't eat sheep. Yeah, you did today. You ate sheep and you enjoyed it. You, you chewed it up and swallowed it. See, that's why I couldn't marry a man like him because, baby, what I'm going to do is eat at the hotel because I know they got something I like. <laughs> I know they got something I like. So we just going to have to see. But I think it's dumb that she married him, that he want kids. And she know when she came out of that hotel, um, the airplane having him wait, uh, what, two hours for her to get dressed and come out. Okay, girl, you're doing too much. And plus you had skin showing. Y'all was hugging, all kinds of stuff. He kissing your hand. Y'all ain't supposed to be doing that. Even at the wedding, he tried to grab her hand. The man was like, let go of her hand. I said, oh. Ooh, baby, I don't know if I could ever visit Jordan. I'm going to be scared. I'm going to be scared. I'm going to be dressing with my eyes only showing, baby. I am not trying to break no laws up and through here. I'm trying to go home, okay? So we're going to have to pray for her because Tiger Lily, I don't know. His mom says she's supportive. She don't know why he was making this decision so fast. He is young, but his mom says she supports. And we'll just have to see because... He's a mess with that hairstylist and everything. Now we got a new player on the board. It's Sonny and Via. Sonny and Via, they've been dating for one year. He lives in South Africa. She lives in Florida. He's Muslim also. But he doesn't seem as controlling as Anad. Anad, is that how you say it? He doesn't seem as controlling, but we don't know yet. We don't know yet. We'll have to see. She grew up in foster care. He grew up without his daddy. He didn't really like mess with his, with his daddy till he grew up a little more. 
he doesn't trust her because she be hanging out with her ex-boyfriend. And all we know, because we done seen it in the preview, that the ex-boyfriend is coming to South Africa with her. So that's going to be a whole hot damn mess. His best friend was saying that they be fighting. He be saying he done with her. But now she coming down there and he said when she comes, he wants to propose to her. And that she's still close with her ex. And also her ex was p putting on his pictures, laughing at his pictures and all that. It sounds like your ex is real insecure and you about to bring him to South Africa where he can go around and get fucked up. That's what I'm just saying. Like, I don't know what's going to happen with them, but she says she has anxiety flying. She's only on, been on the plane twice and you about to take a long ass to South Africa. So girl, you need to be ready, but your ex shouldn't be coming. That's totally inappropriate. I don't agree with it, but... I, I think Sonny going to handle her when they get back. But I'm excited. I like Sonny's energy. So we will have to see about that. Now, goddamn Brian and Ingrid. Baby, Brian looking for a hospice wife. Brian is looking for a hospice wife. And then he had her putting the damn things on the pedals. And she's like, hold on. I thought he was independent. I'm not nobody's mechanic. I said, oh, this, I don't know if this going to work out. I don't know if this is going to work out because she thought he was independent all the way. Like he can handle everything by himself and obviously he can't. Okay. And I don't think she's into it at all, especially when they got to the hotel and he asking for help. But she like, I thought you could do this. Asking her to help him in the shower. She seemed irritated. She went in that bed and got under the covers. Honey, I, what I'm not about to do is that. She's like, can't you do this yourself? You know how to do this. Like quit playing with me. He's talking about. I'm giving her a test. A test of what? She did not take her license to be a nurse. She didn't take her license to be a nurse. So why are you testing her? And then I knew he had a catheter and then he got the condom catheter. Boy, oh, I had a patient one time wanted the condom catheter. It kept falling off with his little winky. And you know, you do have to be a little hard for them to put it on. It did not last. Her Sir, you're getting a real catheter up your hole. What the hell? Okay, anyways. Anyways. He said he took a half of a blue pill and then he was in there beating his meat all hard. I'm like, God, is it, is it okay? Like, she's like, even she was like, what the hell? Like, why are you being so rough with it? Like, God damn. Maybe it's because of the way his hands is. Because, you know, his hands is like, so maybe it, it sounded loud to us, but it sounded very aggressive, okay? It sounded very aggressive. Like, what are you... What are you doing in that shower? Anyways, so he's, like I said, he got the condom catheter. So he had to put, he done showed her the cap. She's like, he's showing me too much. He's doing too much. She was just like, it's too much. It's too much. And then he going to say, <clears throat> maybe I showed her too much. You think? She's young. She is not trying to be your caregiver. She wants to be a wife and turned up. She's young. She got two kids. She don't have time to be taking care. Can you help me take off my shirt? You can take off your shirt, Brian. Now I got to talk to him like a patient. Brian, you can take off your shirt. You're fine. Brian, you know how to get in the shower. You're fine. Quit playing with me like you can't do it yourself, Brian. I'll stand here and watch you, but you got it. I'm trying to keep a little bit more of your independence so you won't have to depend on anybody. You see what I'm saying? Your family wants to keep your independence so you won't depend on nobody, especially no hospice wife that's young. I don't know if this is going to work out with her for her, but I think she wants to get to America because so she going to do what she got to do. But I think he done scared her a little bit with all this caretaking. Everybody ain't made to be a caretaker, Brian. Everybody ain't made showing her little instruments and all that. Brian, just take care of yourself. Do what you need to do. He, can you help me take off my pants? How the hell did you get your pants on? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? See, sometimes I feel like you got to talk to him like a patient. Brian, you can't, you can't undo your pants. Yes, you can. How did you get them on? Yeah, the same way you got them on is how you take them on. Not her pulling them down. Brian, you can do that yourself. Poor Ingrid, she don't even know that she's about to be a hospice wife because this fool in his 50s. Like, girl, don't do it. Please don't do it. Please don't do it, girl. Just don't do it, honey, because listen, ain't nobody got time for him. 
Faith in Lauren. You know I love my girl Faith, but I don't want her to be with Lauren. I don't like Lauren's weird ass. See, he's just a weirdo. I don't like him. And she told him, I want to wait to have sex. I'm not in a rush. And that's just what it is. There's your room. Here's my room. He's like, we only got 20 days to figure this out. So he must have a plane ticket back. Probably 90 days paid for that. But he must have a plane ticket back in 20 days. I don't know if Faith going to give it to him. Okay. I hope her discernment and her gut is telling her don't do it. Because he po, he want to sleep with other women. You know, just don't do it, Faith. Okay. He gave her his girlfriend test and she was like, you can take that back with you. Like she tried to do it and he was like, there's not snakes on every continent. Okay, yeah, I thought so too. So I was like, there's cold cotton continents and I know that snakes don't like the cold. Okay, that's where I need to go, somewhere cold because I don't like snakes either. But anyways, she said, take it back with you. She ain't got time for it. Uh, she let him know that she wants to take it slow, take her time. That's what she want to do. Her, you know, it's just like, she was saying that she talked to other American men, but once they found out she was trans, they didn't want to talk to her no more because she looks so much like a woman, which that's a good thing. She looks good. She looks great. But if I was her, I would lose, use Lauren to get to uh, Las Vegas for real. But Lauren is there just horny, trying to see something, trying to be nasty. And it ain't even worth it. Cause I'm telling you, Lauren's is probably like this. It ain't even worth it. It ain't worth it. They ate some bone marrow. I guess you you don't eat it. Do you eat it? No, you probably, it's soup, right? It had a big, so they eat it and I don't know. They was eating, they went on a day. He said they'll have another day and another day and another day. But what I don't like about Lauren is what happens if he finds another trans girl out there in the Philippines and he starts messing with her while he's there. That's just the energy he gives me. That is the energy he, he gives me. We got to protect our girl faith by all costs, by all means, because Lauren is a goddamn poor creep. Okay, how you gonna be poor and call yourself wanting to cheat and do whatever you want to do? No, you're a poor man. Now, if you are a rich white man, I will let you do whatever the hell you want to do. But since you're a poor man, okay, you can't do whatever you want to do. You ain't Kevin Costner and this bitch. You are Lauren from Las Vegas that's doing gig work. So you will not be cheating on our girl Faith and sleeping with other people talking about you want an open relationship. That is not what Faith is looking for. She's looking for a man that's hers. He's mine. You may have had him once, but I got him all the time. Faith looking for a man. Faith is looking for her husband, okay? Faith ain't got time for you want to sleep with this girl, that girl. Because you, why? Is it because you're a, a sex addict or you got low self-esteem? I'm just trying to figure out what your vice is and why you think you need multiple women. Because you don't deserve it. A man with money deserves multiple women if they want. But not you. Sure not you, sir. But anyways, like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all later on this week because uh, The Bachelorette, The Golden Bachelorette is starting this week. Bye, y'all.